There's no muffling on the toms. I don't stick anything on the heads. Uh, sometimes in difficult venues, uh, the floor toms might start to feedback with the subspeakers. Some venues put the subspeakers under the stage, and of course, a floor tom is a large resonating chamber, and you know you can start to get a bit of feedback, and the tom, the floor toms might ring too long. So I've made um, a zero ring that drops down inside each floor tom. Sometimes I, if it gets really bad, I'll get some cotton wool and pull it into a little tiny flat, I don't know, pancake, like a little cloud about that big, and that will just sit on the bottom head inside. So when you hit the floor tom, that will jump and then land back. It's a nicer way to uh, control the sustain if you have to. I don't do it um, in a studio. There's a tiny bit of uh, muffling on the snare drum. I use a little zero ring like this. And if you could see that in slow motion, when I hit the snare drum, the, the little uh, zero ring jumps up and then lands back down on the snare drum to just control a little bit of the harmonics. Um, inside the bass drum, there is, uh, I use this thing called Kick Pro Pillow. It's a pillow about that wide and inside is sand. So it actually leans up against the batter head and doesn't move, you know, no matter how hard you hit the bass drum. I've also got a very small pillow resting on the bottom of the shell because when you've got uh, bass drum mics inside the bass drum, you can get a thing, with, uh, a thing called a standing wave. And that is this horrible sort of ping. And that's just because in an empty bass drum, the sound is reflecting off the perfect circle, which is the inside of the bass drum. So you need something to interrupt that, otherwise it's, it's a pretty unpleasant sound.